Hello everyone, welcome back to Eltrius Plays Quake 2. We have completed two of the... Well, we've completed three now, haven't we? We've played Quake 2. We've played Ground Zero, we've played The Reckoning. Not in that order. Uh, so now it's time for Call of the Machine, which is the brand new one which was released this year by Bethesda, which, you know, they created it for the re-release. So this isn't just brand new content for me having not played these two in 1998 when they came out, but this is brand new for the entire world, except for everybody who's already played it, because they weren't playing through everything before they got to it. But now we're here, it's time to play. Let's see what is in store for us in 2023, and we are going to play on Nightmare Mode, even though I suspect that this is even more difficult than Ground Zero was, <clears throat> but we'll find out. Uh, and maybe restart when we can't do it, but we managed. we made it through that Black Widow fight. So, let's see what happens. Oh, there's no cinematic. Whoa, this is already way more complex. We are called the machine, that's us. Uh, destroy, deploy marines from adjacent rooms to collect data. Oh, oh, this is, that's amazing. No no goals, no secrets, no no goals. You just told me a goal. Uh, already, I'm trying to break the game. Don't break the player, break the game. Uh, we're going to be letting people out. Look how thin these are. So the original, this is something I've noticed is a bit of a, a design change since 20, in 2023 since the original games came out. And this is a thing that happened a lot in later games. I don't be sure if Unreal was a later. Look at the complexity of this. This is insane. If I go in here, do I die? No, what is this? Stargate? There's low grab. What is happening? This is, this is both brand new and ancient at the same time. You know what I mean? It's got, it's got the style of the old game, and it's got the you know the pixel density and all that of the old games. But it's definitely got brand new stuff going on. Where are we going? <laughs> What's happening? Deploy marines. Collect all data to open a portal to the Strog Maker. Press button to deploy marine. It me. That's that's the that's the co-op start. I get it. Whoa! It, what are you telling me to do? That's this. It's happened at the same time. I'm sorry. How excited I got for that. Now we're called Ericsson. Okay. I am slightly confused. I think that was a, a sort of a co-op staging point, but I can't be certain. Um, and it's those blokes again. Now, the idea to um, save the, 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 the... What's it called? The adrenaline. Until you get a new one or need it. Actually saved our lives in the... Uh, well, that's just being weird, okay. In, in the final boss fight just now. Save just now. It was a few days ago. It was even longer ago for me. Um, but in the last episode. Access denied, very well. What, what is this floor, by the way? So, I'm going to continue with that strategy. I don't think it's going to be that necessary this early in the game. Everyone else is dead. I'm on my own, as you could probably have expected. That actually makes me wonder, what sort of weapons are we going to get this time? Because the, the choice of weapons between the two... How did I get up here? <laughs> I, I just can't, okay. You can jump slightly higher, is that what you're telling me? Um, you know, it's very different between the, the two episodes. And we actually got a BFG in the previous episodes, which was amazing. We don't... We put up spoiled. Because, of course, we didn't get it in, in episode two. Oh, quite. Not... <laughs> oh, I nearly walked through that. I didn't even see it. Not, not of the series. You, you know what's Um... And yeah, oh, by the way, I uh, did a little bit of looking back over the Black Widow fight on the oh, wiki. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. Find an entrance through the sewers. Are you just recycling the words that the people said? Or is that for everybody? That's amazing, by the way. So they've definitely put a... There's some new textures here, that's for sure. Let's find an entrance through the sewers. So we need to figure out how to turn those off. Like a shooting. Oh yeah. Come on now. 
How long have you been playing games? Um, the the <coughs> so the the strategy for the Black Widow fight is to be prepared, basically. Uh, also to cheese it. <laughs> Apparently, I I figured that one out at least. Um, man, this is so good. Um, but the way to be prepared is to have some. Why did you die so quickly? Have a quad damage. Okay, but... um, if I'd used the disruptor with the quad damage, I would have done a lot better. Is what it's telling me. Uh, unfortunately, there were only two quad damages in the entire game. That. that doesn't have blast. So there you go. In the entirety of Ground Zero, there are two quads. And we found them both. Okay. We didn't miss anything. The last quad damage that you could pick up in the entirety of Ground Zero was that one where I said, Hey, a secret. It's a good thing they could open secrets for me. And then they hadn't opened the secret for me, it turns out. But uh, I said it wasn't a secret. It was a secret. Ooh. Ow. Um... But they weren't supposed to open it for me. It didn't tell me that there was a secret. Why am I getting a railgun at the first level? What's the matter with you people? Is this a secret? I've only got ten shells, so maybe we put it on that. Um, yeah, that was that was the last quad damage, and it was supposed to be a secret, and I didn't get the credit for it because well, I might have got the credit for it. it just didn't make the noise, and we you know we live for the noise, like Eddie is like to say. What are you doing? Just standing around. Probably get away with not picking up stim packs whilst our health is counting itself down. These jokers are called gunners, by the way. So yeah, using the quad damage on the sort of mini boss in between, not advised. Oh, I picked one up. I don't think I have to try not to pick it up. So I think they've taken advantage here of the expected increase in computing power in 2023. That's quite clear. Um, just with all these extra... There's a lot more... polygons <laughs> in the levels. The levels are more complicated. You... Uh, there's, there's thin bits. There was nothing thin in Quake 2. In any of the three episodes that we played so far, nothing was thin. And that's what I was trying to say at the beginning of the the game just now when I was failing to articulate myself in any way whatsoever. But there was a, it seemed like there was a sort of trend which Unreal made me it made me think of Unreal basically where you could basically use a single pixel in your uh, in everything. What is happening? Uh, of texture. You use a single picture of pixel of texture and you get a very sharp edge. Oh, I forgot about these Lincoln losers. What now? This is just the entirety of the stroke coming down upon me. So this area is already massive compared to basically anything else we've seen. The distance, the draw distance. Definitely taking advantage of 2023 technology. Um, the furthest draw distance I can think of in the past few episodes, or, or in, in Quake 2 so far, will have been... This is a deathmatch level, by the way. Look at it. Um, probably that waterfront where the pipes were? Yeah, access denied. Not just access denied, but we just put boxes in front of it, because we're not using it either, apparently. We the stroke and all that. Something's happening over there. But this is uh, this is it's very different. I mean, I'm impressed from a Quake Two perspective, right? This is fairly standard, I have to say, for modern day uh, level design and uses of technology. But it's not to say it's not impressive. It's just that oh, it just didn't straight up kill me. I didn't even mean to go that close to it. It's just it's normal. It's normally good. As opposed to 
<laughs> relatively good, which it is more so. Just, just keep talking crap and fill in the time while you wander around this place and try and figure out what the heck you're doing. Very good. That was a very, uh, very southern doing, wasn't it? Doing. Notice how now you can actually jump on top of these. Oh, hello. I don't know if that's a change. Or if these are actually slightly smaller than they always used to be. Why is everything attacking me at once? You've given me every enemy so far. I disagree. I could use my railgun, actually. That's what that's for. I still want to zoom in. Hello. I'm trying to look at the corner of my eye what that was because it's a dead dude. That's fine. That's fine. Still no super shotgun, which is like the main thing. Oh, it's my friends. A bandolier. Another thing we didn't get in Ground Zero. <laughs> Ground Zero was not very forthcoming. Oh, it's Hodgson. Dude. It's the... From Bones. <laughs> Everyone likes Hodgson. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. Or what I was in the middle of saying. That's all right. Let's press some buttons. Cool, cool, cool. I can dig it. Man, this this level is already like a hundred times more complicated than any. Well, I say that actually, it's open. That makes a big difference, right? But right, that makes a big difference, right? But the the sort of the twisty nature of the levels in, in Ground Zero, I, I still found very impressive, to be honest with you. I'm hoping to see more of that. So this is a... Definitely a keycard thing going on. These look like higher resolution textures, but not significantly higher resolution, if you see what I mean. But then they're not so such high resolution that I feel like I'm in the modern era, but I still do feel like that. Because again, we've got all these thin gangways and things that just weren't part of the design spec in, in original Quake 2. Yeah, I can't do that. Look, I'm messing with the terrain, okay? I'm learning. And yeah, we're gonna get... Well, how many Teslas can we? Still only got five Teslas, even though we've got a Bandolier. Ah, uh, that seems a bit mean. And how is this... Again, level design is one thing, but... Base design, from a strong perspective? What are you doing? You just... Is that how you're supposed to get from here to here? I don't think so, Sunshine. Uh, I'm, I've gone the... Whoa. How do we get out? Was it through here? It was through here. Now, this is where Hodges, Hodges lives. Oh, it's Hodges, wasn't it? Hodges. Uh, Rail gun? Excuse me. Whoa! Yeah, get knocked back. Loser. I mean, actually, I like a jazz hamster. Okay. Small levels still. But they don't need to do that, right? Oh, by the way. Me and this cup of tea? We're going to get through it. That's the ASMR. Well, if you're going to give me another one. Let's keep exploring while the rebreather's on. First of all, this is this. Secret? Not secret, just a place. Okay. Can you see that? That Those bars are way thinner than anything that we've come across in Quake 2 before. Owie. Not right now. Let's move on. Uh, okay, we're throwing everything at us. I sort of expected this to some extent because um, we've got. I, I we expected aspects of both of the, the previous expansions to be included in this one. Right? That makes sense. Um, it, th those two felt like they weren't fine. <laughs> To, to be like one another. They both seem like expansions to the original game rather than an expansion and then another expansion to that expansion. So, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the right or wrong decision. 
but this game seems like sort of a combination of the two. Well, it clearly is a combination of the two. Keep hedging my bets in what I'm saying. In case people disagree with me. No, it's obviously a combination of the two because it's got things from both. Whereas, I felt like Ground Zero didn't really use much of the assets and, and, and enemies and what have you from the Reckoning. Which itself didn't add a huge number of assets on stuff of the Climbers. It's actually built for Climbers. Um, the base game itself. So, I suppose we're going up here. Cool how these lasers are wobbly lasers. Uh, not cool how I don't now know what to do. Because I can't get back at the... Oh. Okay. Are there more? Several of these? Is this... Do more quake. Pick a game and stick to it. What what do I do? Came down here on you know, faith. <laughs> I'll be able to They've also made um, lights without hitboxes so that you can't just climb on random things. What am I doing? Oh it's a slight is maybe it is a slightly smaller box. Again, what Ah That was not obvious, was it? Oh, I see. Okay, he's one of those kind of sense and baddies. What was that noise? Hello! <laughs> Lost fight already, huh? You have two rail guns. That's like when I'm playing, you know, privateer. And I finally get two of the weapons that I couldn't afford when I first started playing. Like, I'm going to be a pessimist. Look at the thing. It's like a tiny little spider mastermind. What was I just saying? Does this do more quick? Yeah, nice try. Sometimes. You spawn in these. Better not. I've just had that fight. How much damage can the mini boss have, and why have you put me a mini boss on the first freaking level? Rude. This Joker. This is new content, by the way. 2023. This is what they've created, and that sounds really disparaging. First of all weird texture wrapping so maybe a little bit complaining but what i'm actually saying is that's really good because they've captured the sort of the essence of 1998 but not like it must be really tempting to just make this look like a 2023 game right Where, why didn't you okay i was expecting to be thoroughly ganked i don't gank it Sequence complete. Laser beast. These are updated. Future in this game does not seem to be going to be cold ever. No twitching? No twitching. Right. Brilliant. Great. Now what? Apart from going here. Do I look like a sucker? Hey, look. It's you. Ah. Again with the, t the... See, I want to say that in 1998 they wouldn't have been able to use the polygons. The, the, the complexity of tiny little things like that would have been... Too challenging for the computers at the time, for the players. But... Which... Are we playing Quake 1 now?
I'm into this. What is this? How amazing is this? First of all, look at this dang level. That's unbelievable. Oops. Must be a control switch nearby. Yeah, this is. Are we playing Beat Saber now? Is that actually a shootable? Yeah. How good is this, by the way? I love this. Complete the trial. Computer updated. That's the secret? Oh, you're supposed to jump off this side if you're not smart like me. It's an actual gauntlet. This is literally what a gauntlet is. Ooh, no shooting. Powering down. Second secret, nice. Don't really fancy being part of this. You have to jump back, you do. This is awesome. <laughs> How good is this? I'm beyond impressed by this level. Remember, they just gave us this. Like, hey, we've made some extra content to it. <laughs> yes! Don't while the content. No. Not yet. I very much sense that maybe putting this on Nightmare Difficulty is not a good idea. <laughs> it's... Although, they're throwing the baddies at me you know, somewhat fairly right now. Well, first of all, they've already flipping chucked at me. Won't budge. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, actual, you know, a mini boss on level one. You know, I have a grenade launch, did you know? Crap, crap, crap. Swimming in the lava. Ain't no thing. What is that? Rocket launcher. Okay. Right. Can't actually reach the, the stompy bloke. He's probably here, right? He's not around there now. Maybe don't use it. I know there's no such thing as overkill. But also, there is. <laughs> it's not overkill, except when... Ammo is a concern, in which case it's definitely overkill. Hey, Bethesda, it's 2023. I want to be able to throw a grenade in 20 meters. 20 meters? More than. Plenty of health here. Hey! This is kind of like... This is one of those levels where they just send you a whole bunch of weak enemies just so that you can feel big. <laughs> it's going to be really difficult at some point in the future. I am replete on railgun ammo. This bloke uh, responds better to uh, heavy and explosive sense. At some point, I predict, I'm going to be sent oh, an entire platoon of those ones what can um, resurrect the other ones. Oh, come on. Can't be fast to do that. Yeah. That's more adrenaline than I think I found in the entirety of the previous <laughs> previous campaign. But I'm saving it because this is going to be no fun at all. I like the powering down thing rather than the just switch off. Mm. Mm. 
Let's get in here. Oh, jeez. Well, then, how travel through many enemies, which is very helpful. But there are many enemies, and they're all in the corridor. I wonder if there's a limit. I wonder if there's a like a reward for a whoop, hello, double kill in deathmatch, for example, when you kill more than one with a single railgun shot. What? You're tough. You're better than me. Again. I like that the concept of a monster closet has remained in the Bethesda consciousness, in the id consciousness. I assume id are uh, responsible for this. And there's a really good fusion, in my opinion, so far, of both um, like the style of 1998's game, which is the style of original Quake 2, and the sort of expected complexity of a... Uh, 2021 actual game. This is the architecture, right? There's more bits to each architecture. Each one of these would have been the same shape in in the previous campaigns, but they are there's extra bits. There's there's more ridges and, and texture. There's like the texture is made of polygons rather than textures. Whoa! Wouldn't mind the natural grenade launch if it's all same team. Press pass. They really are eager to fight one another a little bit more. Probably because there's so dang many of them that it's impossible for them not to shoot each other. I'm fairly sure this uh, things happen because you killed an enemy it was fresh in Ground Zero, and now they're making heavy use of it to troll me in the well, the secret level of the first world in uh, New Quake 2. This is so good. Though. I think nice try, but just like shot. Unfortunately, I've got way more health than that, so not that much exit. Not that great. My budge. Is that it? it? Says exit, but is there more? My house is still locating discs. What's all this? Oh, were there secrets? Oh, found them both. Okay, cool. I think I'm happy to press exit, since this won't budge. Trial complete. Oh, it's not even exit. Nice. Computer updated. Let's go and see if we can get, um, yeah, resume fusion switch. Can't remember what that was. Get some HP properly so that we can take the 200 health. <laughs> Well, the 100 health, and it will actually be 200. Oh, not, do. not coming back, so we might as well take a med kit for 3 HP. Not complaining, not complaining. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Man, that's a great start, don't you think? That's a really good start. I especially love that they... Hmm. I especially love that they have used um, the original Quake 1. Wobble. I was expecting to go to a Quake 1 themed level, actually. Mildly disappointed that that didn't happen. Oh, I should have done that. that didn't happen. I'm not that disappointed. <laughs> I'm not going to write to Bethesda and say, um, that free content you gave us? I'm very disappointed. The wobbly Quake 1 teleporter didn't take me to a cigarette verse again. I can play Quake 1. Maybe been on the previous channel, so if you're wondering about that. What am I doing? Oh, 
Oh, this is open. That's oh, a way back. Oh, fair enough. <clears throat> I want to go in there. Do I have a... Mm, no, I don't have an environment suit yet. So we can't do that just yet. Already basically out of health. Oh, we need to walk along that pipe. Mm. I found the secret pipe, but not the actual pipe. You have to actually follow it. <laughs> Such a good game. You know what? Lol. Lol. You know what would be good security? Put a shootable button inside a thing. So that you have to, uh... So you can just open the security door. Whoa. Bad? Not bad. Cool new ladders. Ow! I was watching you about to do it, and this bloke did it. What is all this? <laughs> what is this place? Again, it's game design, but not base design. But it's fine. What a waste of uh, 100 health, by the way. It's just gone. Decomposition sluice. What does it mean? Where are we? Strog flesh lab. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's on brand, I suppose. This transmission. At designated points Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. We heard that one way further into the previous campaign. Than this. Especially if you use the first one as a... It's probably some sort of... Um... Oh, hello. Not a good one to target first time. You're going to go through there, probably. Whoa. Two tummy hooters? Well, I need two hooters. How can you two hoot me? Uh oh. Whoa. It's got hard. Complicated part of the level. Too many enemies in too many places. Did you just duck that? I think you did, mate. Okay. You even try. I wonder if the tactics are going to be diff diff difficult, different in the way that they... I'm going to try, like... The, the way that they hid things in, in 1998. I'm thinking, for example, are they still going to make sure that it's the wrong thing to do to explode a box? Because that's how you jump onto something else. No, when I say box, I mean the, the explody barrels, you know? Definitely me are going up there. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. Oh, right, I remember. So either this hurts or it does nothing. It does nothing. Okay. So it's <laughs> just a completely full trash system. Where are we going? What sort of game is this? There's a lot of um, bonus HP, by the way. Each of these is 25 health. Don't forget. Opens from the other side. Good thing that I that, that the game knows that. <laughs> By the way, here's some information about the Strog base that there's no way you could possibly have known. We're just going to tell it you anyway because it gets the game going. Mysterious music. No worries. Just wait for these. Get a shot. Get a shot. Wait for these. Hey, 
Hey, you know what would be a cool first secret level? How about rafts floating on lava? And then enemies just attack you from all sides and you have to jump from raft to raft. Build it. Random thing. Build the rooms. <laughs> Expect to have a computer or a desk. Half life. That's what these things remind me of. Like everything is slightly thinner and a little bit more precision. Now, mate. Then the, the, the chunkiness of Quake 2 itself was standard for the time. Research. Okay, I guess we're going in that way. But you know, thin thin arms and extra extra polygons to describe cranes and things like that. Yeah. It definitely reminds me of half life. That's never there. See? Crane conveyor actually. Isn't that a conveyor? It is a conveyor, by the way. Ah! <laughs> Well, there's many of them, so that's okay. Jumping is still difficult, huh? I will convey these crates. Guess that's why it's called a conveyor. It conveys. <laughs> so you never thought of that before, huh? Oh, okay. Just lift. Game saved. I didn't do it. I haven't actually made a real save in this entire file so far. And we've been playing for 37 minutes, so probably about time to uh, locate the disc. Probably about time to say next episode. But, you know, a bit of a longer one for the first episode is not a terrible thing, I would say. I like that it's a grenade launcher and not a prox launcher, because proxies suck. <laughs> So, I th yeah, I think it's a good time to end this episode. Uh, this is really good. Don't you agree? What is that? That reminds me of something else, actually. I can't think what. Doom. 2016. Or Eternal. I can't remember which one had to be. You had to protect a, a weapon or something on the ground. I can't remember. I picked up an entire med kit for 1 HP. That's a mistake. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. This is a really good um, sort of. I won't say baby, but like. Reboot, revisit to the, the Quake 2 storyline so I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of this and I hope that you are too and if you are remember you can leave a subscribe leave a subscription press the subscribe and it will tell you when I have released another video you can leave a like to tell Saint Ag Saint Algorithmus sorry I'm back for A stealing that and B saying it wrong <laughs> screwing it up um, that you appreciate the content and want to see more and then other people will hear about it as well and then finally uh, you can follow me on Discord, uh, I was going to say Twitter, but not Twitter, Mastodon, and all that sort of good stuff, with the links below in the description. And until next time, well, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.